This will be a guide for the fight cauldron. You will need to have completed the Elder Kiln quest and the Brink of Extinction. After the quest, you will get the Tokozu ring. If you right click teleport, it will bring you straight to the fight cauldron. However, if you have lost the ring, make your way to Edgeville and run east into the fairy ring. In my case, my best style is range, so I have brought full range and the Silverhawk boots. You are able to get them for free from the Ottoman store. Right click the fairy ring, select destination, type in B, L, and P. Teleport to destination. South, run east, now I'm killing this obsidian so you can get some took hole. Tazar Meh Je, you will be able to get your ring from him, and you will need forty. Uh, you will need fifty thousand to coal, which is found in the currency pouch. Go to the settings, and it's under standard. It should be the first one. Again, you will need fifty thousand. Once you have your ring. Teleport to the fight cauldron. Enter the the bank is also south of you. Enter the fight cauldron. There is also a bank on the inside. Now make your way to the east and pay attention to this three by three area. Pass it and pay attention to the squares. If they are orange or red, like so in the middle, an NPC will spawn every other. If you're in it, it will damage you. Again, the orange is six tiles. Next wave, the two orange will spawn NPCs. Pray accordingly. And make sure to avoid the orange squares. While you're in them, you take rapid damage. Every time you kill an NPC, you will get obsidian charms. the red that's in the middle well in the middle for my case remember to pray accordingly and then continue to kill what you're fighting
Now, once you are running out of food, simp uh, do not let yourself die. Pass through the hot vent door. You will get the shards. You may go to the bank to get more food, and you can enter. If you want to get your prayer back, simply enter the vent, go in the middle north tile, and let it kill you. Do not worry, it is a safe mini game. You will be teleported outside. Now, this is the part on how to make the obsidian armor and bars. You will need 192 obsidian shards. It will get you enough for the armor and all three helmets. Teleport to Lumbridge. Click on Smelt Furnace. In the middle row, scroll down to Specialized Ore Smelting and click on the amount you want to make. On the left side of the smithing interface, scroll down to miscellanea, click on obsidian bar, and start making the pieces that you wish to make. Click on the heat forge so you can get heat. And back to smithing. Now, if you have access to the super heat form, use it as it will make your heat go slower. Once your heat is running low, click on the forge again to get it hot to get the bar filled. Go back to the anvil. Once the blue bar has filled up all the way, you will make the item that you are building. Click back on the anvil, go to miscellaneous smithing, and smith another piece that you have not yet, and then begin pro project. Click on the forge, then click on the anvil. Once you have made all the armor pieces that you have wanted, teleport back to the fight cauldron or the fight cave. Now, while wearing the armor, you get a damage reduction. You will get up to 45% without wearing the shield. If you wear the shield, it will be 55% damage reduction. Now, to repair the armor, you will need to be wearing it, and you will need additional obsidian charms. Single click the charms, and you will repair the following. that is how you get the obsidian armor. Another thing is once you have repaired all of the obsidian stuff, you can go to your bank, click on the house icon on the bottom left corner, and you will be able to deposit all of the items you have. They must be fully repaired just click on the icon and then deposit. That way you will be able to save yourself a 
lot of bank space.